Las Vegas at Indianapolis. This is not perhaps the uh, the quarterback battle that we expected at the beginning of the year, but two guys that have been playing decent football down the stretch here. Indianapolis has been a defense that we've been able to get after for matchups pretty much all season. Are you continuing to ride that and target some Raiders players in both in your in your selecting lineups, but also in DFS? No, I think <laughs> it would be the simple answer. Um, the Raiders, they're a run funnel defense. They've been good against the pass all year. They rank sixth best in defensive DVOA. And they're 19th against the run. They allow the 10th most fantasy points to the position. And Jonathan Taylor needs that after last week. He kind of really disappointed. He wasn't seeing the high-value touches. Really kind of didn't see the volume we were hoping for either. The Raiders, they've allowed 13 running back rushing touchdowns in 15 games this year. It's almost a lock that a running back scores a touchdown against them each week. Um, The Colts, they've been kind of like... Yeah, there's weeks where you can get after them and then weeks where you can't. Like They've allowed six fewest fantasy points to the position, given up only two games of 16 or more points since week eight. And since the Raiders benched Jimmy G, Devontae Adams, it's been really boom bust. You know, He's had three games below 60 yards and only two touchdowns last week, one catch for four yards. You, just, you have no idea what you're going to get week to week. I don't think that I want to start him in this situation. But we have seen weeks where he kind of is good, and I think you kind of have to live and die by those studs. It's to stop, to bench him, you're going to have to have a really good option elsewhere. Michael Pittman's return would be big for the Colts because last week the wide receivers combined for 10 catches for 77 yards. It's like the whole offense just felt like it had taken a massive backward step without him. But it sounds like he has he's going to clear concussion protocol today, and he should be back. Yeah, I think Pittman he changes this whole offense. He potentially changes this whole matchup. He's a top twelve wide receiver for me this week. I think, providing he clears, which it sounds like he's going to, he's absolutely the play you've got to get in. Devonta Adams. I mean, I agree with what you're saying. He's so boom bust. It's hard. But when I sit down and do my rankings on a Tuesday night, it's like. Cannot I, he's at 15 for me this week, and I just can't get him any lower because I'm looking at guys and I'm like, he has potential to completely win your week. And if he goes off in championship week, are you going to be kicking yourself because you decided to bench Devontae Adams? Like, you know, he's probably a first, second round pick for you this year. You kind of got to roll with him. And yeah, I get it. I get the point of, you know, let's not attack him in DFS where you can and let's avoid him there. But if you're in a final, you've got to be absolutely loaded to not be starting Devontae Adams right now. Absolutely. And if you survived this far in the league with Devontae Adams and the boom bust nature that he's brought, and you still made the final, then absolutely go and start him this week because he's done enough for you already. Before we move on to our next matchup, help us with our goal. Tom and I sat down and we said we want to hit 1,500 subscribers by the end of the season. We are so close. We are so, so close. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go ahead, do a solid click subscribe right now. We have got so much planned for the offseason. You know, do it now and it will help you later. 